The United States may have been the first party to blink in a violent standoff with Iran, but it's now decided to exert damaging pressures on the country in other ways. Specifically, the United States upped its sanctions on the Islamic Republic, and this time United States President Donald Trump targeted Iran's Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, as well as the country's top military brass. The U.S. is calling these measures a strong and proportionate response to Iran's increasingly provocative actions. And those actions include downing a U.S. drone last week, and most likely being responsible for sabotaging two oil tankers off the Gulf Coast earlier this month. Trump, though, still maintains that he's not interested in war, and rather would want Tehran to come to the negotiating table. Then while Iran is adamant that these hefty sanctions aren't having much of an effect, the Iranian people are telling a different story. Iranians on the street, for example, say that economic war is a reality and people are under extreme pressure. Further, the numbers bear this out with the exchange rate at a dismal 130,000 rials for one U.S. dollar. This coupled with inflation over 37% and a 12% unemployment rate. But the United States will not let up its sanctions, and it's hoping that the international community will do the same. So as such, United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is currently in Dubai calling on Gulf states, Europe, and Asia to form a broad coalition to counter Iranian aggression. Though getting Europe on board will be a long shot, as Germany in particular said that it's keen on de-escalating this serious situation, but doesn't agree with Trump's approach. And then remember also that France, Britain, Russia, and China are all signatories of the JCPOA nuclear deal with Iran, and they have no interest in withdrawing their participation anytime soon. So finally, all the while, Iran's foreign minister Javad Zarif is accusing Israel, the United States, and Gulf leaders for despising diplomacy and being thirsty for war.